Well, if you like a lot of color, if you like a lot of movement, and we've got some of that going on here today at Linton's, you're going to like our next half hour. All kinds of great ideas and designs flying straight ahead. Stay with us. the family and step into a magical world at Linton's Enchanted Gardens, a world full of color and inspiration, beautiful ideas to transform your home both inside and out. Explore acres of displays to spark ideas for your home and garden, plus expert advice to help bring your ideas to life. Stop by and you'll see why we were voted the best home and garden center in Indiana, or check out Linton's.com for ideas galore. Linton's Enchanted Gardens, County Road 17 in Elkhart. Just watch for the attraction signs. Welcome to another edition of our program from Linton's Enchanted Gardens on County Road 17 in Elkhart. And I'll tell you what, it's a great day here at Linton's. And in the second half of the program, we're going to have some wonderful outdoor displays for you from Linton's Quilt Garden. Mark Linton here with us, as usual. And Mark, you've spent a lot of time getting this garden to look uh, great. And uh, I'll tell you, You've done a great job, you and your staff. Well, thank you. Can't take the credit uh, all myself. A lot of man hours, a lot of hard work has gone into it, especially a lot of sweat this year. <laughs> yeah, lots of sweat. Yeah, we're going to go outside in just a little bit. But first, we're going to talk about some interior design. And, Mark, I know you're really big on uh, getting some of the dark earth tones into a setting, and today is exactly that, isn't it? They've been real popular, and it comes off as kind of a masculine look and, and feel. And uh, we've uh, set up a nice uh, vignette here. We're going to start adding some different elements uh, to it. Uh, like to share uh, some ideas with the viewers, uh, something they could do on their own at their own home. They can do at their own home. They can even purchase the items here at Linton's as well. All the items seen here are available today. Yeah, you're right. Uh, some of them are very unique and unusual, one of a kind. Uh, over here, uh, this is a uh, unique uh, floral arrangement that our design team has put together. Uh, actually, uh, also uh, works as a light fixture. Uh, you can plug this floral arrangement in. This is low voltage uh, lighting, doesn't give off uh, any heat, so it's very, very safe. And oh my goodness, uh, in the evening, this just lets out a nice uh, glow. Uh, beautiful uh, vase uh, that uh, they've used uh, here, some natural um, elements. Uh, this is uh, only $139.99. We're also incorporating a lot of owls into uh, this vignette. Owls have really come back in uh, popularity. Uh, we We've got a wide assortment of uh, decorative uh, owls. In fact, uh, down below here, Craig, uh, this is an owl light fixture, and um, that sets off a, a nice uh, glow um, and uh, also lights up an area that typically would be darker underneath uh, the furniture here. And what you see, uh, we've got an unusual mirror. Uh, this has the birch bark uh, featured for uh, the frame, and it gives, ties in with that rustic uh, look and feel that we have. What kind of material, Mark, is the birch bark? Uh, can you tell us? It's actually 100% natural birch bark. It really is, yes. And um, we've got uh, um, some twig branches uh, also uh, framing uh, the birch bark as well. And up above, uh, our design team's uh, done a nice uh, job uh, with uh, the swag. They've introduced uh, the burgundy tones, have a very realistic uh, bird's nest with a cluster of eggs. I especially like uh, the fern and um, the, the ivy that uh, they've got incorporated into that as well. But a very nice uh, natural look. We also have uh, incorporated some pine as well as some pine cones. Again, gives you kind of that lodge look and feel. It's really nice. Uh, you mentioned the owls, and we're going to see more of them, but uh, owls have been popular, and it's kind of cyclical, isn't it, with not only owls, but other items, too, in decor. I can remember as a kid back in the 70s when uh, a lot of people were into collecting uh, owls and um, very popular at that time, and uh, it's evolved uh, back into uh, uh, being something popular once again. 
And Craig here, we've incorporated uh, some fabrics and what you see is uh, not only uh, the green tones, but the brown tones. We're bringing uh, those colors together and it really is all about uh, color. Uh, we've got a nice uh, antler uh, light fixture here with a suede uh, light lampshade. And over here, this is something uh, rather unusual. Uh, this is something that uh, works out well as a hanging uh, fixture and we've added uh, the little battery operated uh, tea lights in here in uh, the bird's nest and um, those uh, give off a nice little little flickering and um, something that our uh, design team uh, likes to do very easy uh, to do at your home um, just taking uh, some ivy some fern sprays very inexpensive only $11.99 we like to uh, tuck those into our furniture uh, pieces and you really don't even need a pot or a container for them you don't see uh, the stems um, but uh, adds a lot of nice uh, life uh, to uh, uh, otherwise a, a doll bookcase up above uh, Craig you see another owl uh, this one is uh, on sale for only $21.99 uh, the perceived value is just so much higher than that yeah, and it's neat uh, the owl almost looking down on the entire living area you're right. And then um, over here, uh, actually uh, utilizing an antique uh, luggage uh, or suitcase uh, here, utilizing uh, that as a furniture piece. Uh, we've got a, a antique reproduction uh, lamp fixture. Uh, this is on sale for only $49.99. Again, uh, the brown tones uh, tie in um, very, very well. The brown tones tie in well. The green, you know, if you're not a big fan of green, a green in this situation looks awesome. It does. It's a, it's a great color combination. Absolutely. Well, we've got some more items coming up, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Shelly is going to enter the scene from stage right, I believe, and uh, begin to fill out the set here, Mark. And what do you have next? Uh, this is a hand-carved uh, wooden uh, medallion, and uh, it's going to go um, underneath uh, the furniture here. It's only $49.99. Again, these items are available today here at Linton's and Shannon Gardens and County Road 17 in Elkhart. You can check out a lot of the items uh, that we've talked about and others that we haven't at Linton's.com. One of our many owls, uh, again, um, a very low price point, only $25.99. And uh, here we've got a, a wooden trinket uh, box, uh, using it uh, for uh, decoration. Um, it's only $27.99. Very nice touch. How many owls altogether? Have you counted them all? Shelly, do you have any idea? Haven't counted them, uh, but uh, actually uh, Shelly is modeling one of our owls. Uh, we have a jewelry line uh, here, and uh, owl jewelry has also been uh, very, very uh, popular this year. Very nice, Shelly. Looks good. We always like to have um, some photo frames incorporated into our vignettes. It's an excellent way to uh, personalize it, add uh, some family photos uh, to it. And instead of uh, using a single photo frame, uh, we like to use uh, multiples. They work out very well in groupings. The most important thing is always to remember that uh, the color tones that uh, they blend in uh, with, uh, with the vignette. Now, if someone is clueless but they want to replicate this look, Mark, they can come in and get ideas from your team here? Actually, we're more than happy to uh, help them. We've always got uh, uh, designers uh, which are able to help them with selection. And actually, we'll go out to uh, our guest home and uh, work with them on a one-on-one -on -one basis as well. What's up next? Uh, we always like to have uh, candles incorporated into our, our displays. And again, you see the, diff the different color tones, a nice variety of uh, colors here on uh, this candle pillar. Almost looks too nice to even burn, but uh, you probably could and probably will burn that candle at some point. And then, Craig, uh, we've got a... Uh, statue here of an elk and uh, the antlers uh, tie in with our antler uh, light fixture only $63.99. All right so you got the elk if you live in Elk Cart County this is uh, this is the item and how many of these do you have on hand? Actually that is the Just only one. one. Okay right. and then um, we've got some spheres on um, pedestals here uh, low price point only $12.99 uh, they add uh, a lot of interest uh, there and uh, again uh, the color tone are tying in with everything else as well. All right, very good. Linton's Enchanted Gardens, County Road 17, open until 6 today, so come on out.
Very nice uh, masculine uh, clock here uh, with the silver and the leather look uh, type of uh, accent and uh, only $96.99. The leather look again gives it that uh, little bit of a manly feel, doesn't it? Oh, definitely. And then our de design team has come up with another custom uh, floral. Uh, again, you'll see a uh, repeat in uh, the burgundy tones. Uh, we've got the different shades of green as well as uh, the brown and the tans. They've also incorporated some Spanish moss in it. Gives it a nice uh, woodsy look and feel. Very nice and uh, some really good color. It uh, really fits into the scene here at Linton's Enchanted Gardens. Our whole idea here is to give you some inspiration and some ideas, practical ideas that you can pick up and apply in your own home setting. And certainly the items here, uh, many of them are available, although some of them are one of a kind. And Mark kind of mentioned that earlier, so be sure to get out here as quickly as you can. We've got some very large uh, uh, pillars and uh, we've got uh, some uh, birch bark uh, candles which ties in with the mirror directly behind us. We've got a set of three of uh, these. We've got a large one that we've already got uh, put in place. Uh, Shelly is adding a smaller version and then uh, we've got one more which is a medium size. We're staggering uh, the three of them. I especially like how Shelly's got uh, the fern tucked in down there at uh, the base. Again, um, pulling in uh, the green and the brown tones uh, together. Very nice Shelley. And the theme of the owl continues here from Linton's. And then we've got a couple more ceramic owls which we're going to add to the rest of uh, the owl family over here. Don't drop those ceramic owls. You could have a real problem. Of course Mark has never dropped anything on the show. I don't believe. And uh, this is a very unusual way to uh, display uh, votive uh, candles, uh, but our design team has picked that out because of uh, the leather-like type of look and finish. And we also have a photo frame, again, uh, which ties in uh, with the same uh, brown tones as well. So you're adding a bit of a personal touch there with the frame and certainly the picture that can be interchanged. Very nice. And then, Craig, uh, what we've got here is another uh, custom uh, floral. Uh, and uh, the design team's uh, done something very, very clever here. I really like uh, the use. Uh, this is actually a, a, an old log. And uh, you can see kind of some rot and decay going on uh, here. Um, just a, It's a found object uh, in nature. And then um, added uh, some very realistic uh, mushrooms, some ferns. I specifically like uh, the butterfly. And yeah, the, the ladybug, uh, that's always a uh, that uh, that is uh, one of our original uh, creations or, or designs. And uh, this one is only uh, $44.99 and uh, designed by Ruth. Yeah. There you go. Ruth, who lives right here, works at Linton's, one of the design members of the design team. And you won't find that anywhere else, guaranteed. <laughs> You're right. And then um, we've got a, a turtle here. Uh, the shell is uh, also a repeat of our uh, green and brown tones. And then a nice, uh, more contemporary look and feel uh, with uh, this leaf silhouette, only $32.99. And I really like how Shelly is positioning that there. You actually can look through the leaf and still see uh, the nice detail of uh, the, the frame on uh, the mirror there. Add some nice dimension as well. Great ideas here, and that's the whole thought behind the program, giving you inspiration and, and no better place than Linton's to, to find all of that. You're going to see lots of owls uh, here, adding a, an owl to our bookshelf, and then another uh, photo frame, again, a uh, repeat of uh, the different brown tones. All right, I've noticed the owls aren't all brown. You featured some green ones earlier, uh, and I don't know that in nature there are green owls, but it, it works, doesn't it? You know what? Uh, there's a lot of different kind of looks, styles, and, and feels. Uh, some are more natural looking. Others have more of a contemporary flair, really about any uh, different style for, that would fit uh, your home. I've got uh, some uh, nice uh, clay uh, vessels here uh, that uh, we're just uh, using. Uh, they're empty, um, but again, uh, it ties in with our color and theme. Excellent. And Shelley doing a great job as usual from the design team here at Linton's. Again, Linton's.com if you'd like to check out more of what's happening. And, of course, Linton's hours until 6 today. 
And Craig, uh, you're going to see a lot of candles incorporated in here. Uh, the most important thing is that uh, the colors tie in. Again, uh, the candle here ties in with the color that we've got here uh, with the pillar. I especially like uh, the veining uh, that's going on in that one. Yeah, great detail. I think Gary can get a pretty good shot of the veining that Mark talked about on the candle. Very nice, Gary. That's a really good look. Couple more uh, versions of uh, the owls. Uh, this one here is a owl votive uh, holder. Uh, only twelve ninety nine for uh, the votive holder, and uh, we've got a uh, smaller owl here, and it's only four ninety nine. Make a great gift. I like that one. That's really cute, if I might say so myself. Very nice. This all this is uh, one of my own uh, personal uh, favorites. It's uh, one of the larger ones, and uh, this one is fourteen ninety nine. Now this is more of a manly owl, wouldn't you say? A man's man owl. Yeah, we've got some feminine owls, and we got some uh, masculine owls. You're right. Very good. And they all, of course, contrast and complement each other here in the setting at Linton's. This is an awesome uh, votive uh, holder here, uh, again, featuring our battery-operated uh, uh, candles, uh, nice uh, flickering flame, put uh, the lid on top of that, and uh, actually it's very safe. Uh, you could use a, a real candle in there and um, puts off a, a nice uh, little glow. All right, a couple of minutes left here in this portion of the program. In just a little bit, we're going to head outside of the quilt garden here at Linton's Enchanted Gardens. Got uh, some more uh, masculine uh, clocks and uh, family uh, photo frames. I really like uh, this uh, ceramic, and we've got nice uh, detail uh, there uh, that says family uh, up above. And uh, this photo frame is only $27.99. I must say that is a unique look. I don't know that I've seen anything quite like that. That's very unique. And available here at Linton's, a one of a kind. Come and get it. Then, Craig, uh, this uh, is a uh, three uh, votive holder, and uh, we've got, uh, again, our battery operated uh, votives in there, and it's, this is on sale for only $39.99. And again, a repeat of kind of that twig, uh, that natural type of look. Mm -hmm. All right, just a couple of remaining items here as we finish out the set, and you've got to introduce man's best friend. That's right. Uh, we're featuring uh, some dogs. Uh, we've already got uh, uh, several dogs incorporated into our uh, vignette here. Uh, Black uh, Lab and then a nice little uh, mother and uh, puppy here. Uh, this one's only $32.99. And as Shelly makes the final placement there, we do bring out uh, what Mark likes to refer to as the wow. Every one of our shows, generally speaking, features a wow. And Mark, I think you may have outdone yourself here today. What do you have for us? Well, I didn't outdo myself. It was actually Diana, uh, part of our uh, design team. Uh, this is one of uh, Diana's uh, custom uh, creations and kind of ties in uh, the whole entire uh, vignette. Uh, we've got a, a repeat of uh, the same colors. Uh, we've got uh, some different twigs in here with a little bit of moss and lichen uh, growing on it. Got some different seed pods in here. I like uh, the movement that you see. We've got some pheasant uh, feathers in here. And this comes complete, uh, comes complete with uh, this uh, unique uh, rustic uh, stand and urn. All right. And as Shelly moves uh, to the side and then uh, makes the final placement, we'll just remind you that we'll be back in just a bit going outside here at Linton's Enchanted Gardens to view the wonderful quilt garden. So stay tuned. Step into a magical world at Linton's Enchanted Gardens, a world full of color and inspiration, beautiful ideas to transform your home inside and out. Explore acres of displays to spark ideas for your own home and garden, plus expert advice to help bring your ideas to life. Right now, save on dazzling daylilies, only $3.99. Visit Linton's.com for ideas galore. Linton's Enchanted Gardens, County Road 17 in Elkhart, between the 20 bypass and exit 96 off the toll road.
are back here at Linton's Enchanted Gardens on a beautiful day here just off of County Road 17 in Elkhart. And with me now is Sonia Nash of the Elkhart County Convention and Visitors Bureau. And good to see you again, Sonia. You too. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here, and it is a fabulous day. It's gorgeous here, isn't it? It's just wonderful when we get a chance to get outdoors. And, you know, it was a little bit warm last week, but today is just gorgeous out here at Linton's. Uh, we like to say this is more than just a place to shop. This is really a destination, and it really fits into your pattern of marketing and exposure for Elkhart County. Linton's has to be one of the highlights. It is definitely, and we're so happy and pleased that Linton's is one of the 19 quilt gardens along the Heritage Trail. We have a 90-mile loop throughout the Elkhart County area that is called the Heritage Trail. It's a nationally recognized scenic driving tour. And along this trail, in the summer months, and now is peak, you can see by behind me how gorgeous they are. There are 19 of these beautiful gardens planted in the shape of quilt patterns. It's a one-of-a-kind experience not found in anywhere else in the nation, so visitors have to come and see it now. And there's a lot of people out there up in southwest lower Michigan and even west of Elkhart County that maybe have never visited the quilt garden before. Now would be a great opportunity to do that. How long does it run, actually, this summer? The quilt gardens start every year, May the 30th, and they're viewable free of charge until October 1st. And the gardens really have their own pattern and time frame. They change every month, so the garden you might see today will be very different from the garden you see in September. It really encourages visitors and residents to come multiple times to bring their family and friends when they have out-of-town visitors. And of course, Linton's has so many different changing events and activities to see and hear and do that it really makes sense to come all often. Uh, Mark has told me there are busloads that come here and this is one of their favorite locations it right behind us. It is. Um, the Quilt Gardens are attracting visitors from throughout the region. Over 150 miles, they're coming and staying three or four days and nights and traveling and making this their destination. Not just Linton's, but all of the Quilt Gardens in Elkhart County. So they're getting out to Middlebury and to Goshen and to Napanee and they're enjoying all of the sites the museums, the restaurants, the shops, and really enjoying the time here. Well, kudos to you, certainly, Sonia, and the rest of your crew there at the Elkhart County Convention and Visitors Bureau. Uh, the wonderful job you've done in the last half dozen or so years. What was the main inspiration, though, to get things going in the very beginning? Well, before the economy and the recession uh, hit and challenged us as a nation, we sat down with a group of partners in 2005 and 6 and tried to analyze what would make us unique and different, set us apart from other destinations, and yet communicate our local heritage. There's nothing that communicates our residents and visitors more than the love of quilting and the love of agriculture. Gardening, of course, is the number one hobby in America, and there are 27 million quilters in this nation. So we're talking to a large audience of potential visitors, and it really reflects our stories, our residents, and our businesses, just as Litton's does here. Quilts and gardens kind of go hand in glove, don't they? They do. And you know, there are a lot of gardeners who quilt in the winter when they can't get outside, and there are a lot of quilters who garden in the summer. And of course, Linton's here has wonderful seminars and programs. They pick out their own design. Every site is different. So the pattern you see here is different from the one at the next site, and it's different next year. Right now, they're applying for 2013. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was going to say, this does not look exactly the way it looked last year, but I will agree with you. It looks as nice as I've ever seen it. It is. It's just beautiful. Now, each site picks their own pattern and their own plant materials. Some say Litton's has their own advantage, of course, because of their expertise, but there are a lot of partners, over 200 volunteers, working hard to make this project grow, to welcome visitors all four months long, um, and really are having a fabulous time. Well, volunteerism is very important here in Elkhart County, and I tell you what, Sonia, what you're doing here through Vera Bradley and through Linton's uh, really incorporates the volunteer spirit and the, uh, the whole idea of helping those that are in need. Well, as you may or may not know, breast cancer affects so many people, and the Vera Bradley Corporation has a foundation that impacts and raises funds for breast cancer research. We have six retailers uh, on the Hope Along the Heritage Trail campaign, Litton's is one of them, that works together to foster the generation of funds, and you can purchase this special edition of the Tea Garden Tote here at Litton's with a specialty insert by Soup of Success, another amazing program, and this tote and product 
project will help raise funds for breast cancer research as well as providing hope for women in need throughout the region. Soup of success, isn't that through the uh, community, Alcar Community, uh, community uh, Church service. Community yeah. Services? Yeah. Yes. Women hard at work, learning and training job skills, helping their life, and they are putting together the inserts, the soups and the cookie mixes and all of the great inserts. So it is a wonderful collaboration, another example of the way the quilt gardens have really brought people together. Yeah. Great project. I'll tell you what, if you haven't already, you need to stop by Linton's or any of the other stops along the tour. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful view here in the summertime. This is the exact time to be out. This weekend would be perfect, and uh, I really appreciate your time here today, Sonia. Well, thank you. It's my pleasure and honor. Um, the 19 gardens are viewable at any time. Uh, we do have a website that has a map on it where people can download and see a video, look at current pictures. That's AmishCountry.org or QuiltGardens.com. So just click online, follow us on Facebook, and you'll hit all of the great news. All right. Sonia Nash, thank you very much. Thank you for your time. And we will be stepping over to view a little bit closer some of what Sonia was talking about with Mark Linton. Well, here we are, Craig, in the middle of 5,000 square feet of annual flowers. And uh, what you see is actually over 3,000 annuals that uh, we have planted. Our crews were down on their hands and knees uh, digging over 3,000 uh, holes to plant all these. Why did you want to become involved, Mark, in the very first place some five years ago? You know what, when we were invited to participate uh, in this, uh, it just seemed like a real natural fit. Uh, we're a home and garden center, and um, I'm actually surprised that we are the only home and garden center that's part of uh, this quilt garden uh, tour. But uh, who better to uh, showcase uh, the annual flowers? And yours is different. It's absolutely different from all the others. In fact, your pattern is different and distinctive, but you're the only quilt garden stop that has music we are we are and uh, the patterns they do change uh, yearly and uh, we come up with new ideas and we also use different flowers and so it's ever-changing always evolving now the history of this particular pattern this year mark goes back over 150 years i believe yeah uh this is an amish quilt pattern uh, that's actually still used uh today uh started uh, in the early 1800s uh we're calling this stellar days and uh, it's been a very popular uh, design and we've incorporated uh, that design into our own garden here sonia mentioned that this is an attraction yours and the other stops along the quilt garden tour uh, that goes beyond Elkhart, St. Joe County. In fact, uh, just as we were preparing to shoot here, we had a visitor from out of state. That's right. A uh, gentleman from, all the way from Colorado uh, was, was here uh, with his family enjoying uh, the beautiful Quilt Gardens uh, tour. Earlier, uh, we had a group of uh, ladies uh, from Indianapolis, and it wasn't uh, just their first time. They have been coming here for several years in a row, and so a lot of repeat visitors as well. Do you share any of your own personal gardening secrets, or is that all proprietary? Our, our, our biggest secret is in the soil preparation, and happy to, to share that. The most important thing is the dirt, and second most important thing is water. Well, once again, we want to thank uh, Sonia Nash from the Elkhart County Convention and Visitors Bureau for being with us here on the program today. And Mark, uh, a great invitation, I think, right now for people to come and visit. As Sonia said, the color and the beauty is at its peak right now. Uh, they are, and uh, we'll be uh, featuring these all the way into October. All right. Well, Mark, thank you so much. Thank you, Craig. Thank you for joining us on our program today. For Mark Linton and our producer, Gary Martin, this is Craig Wallen. Until next time, so long, everybody.